Welcome, and for me I have the Motorola Moto G23 and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now before I actually get started with the bypass process method, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to quickly mention a couple of things. So number one, I have this device locked with a pattern, as you can obviously see, and obviously Google account which will be probably the case for most of you, minus the pattern, obviously. Uh, you could also have a PIN or password. Uh, it won't matter which one you have. Uh, all of them work the same way. Uh, number two, you will need internet connection. So for this to actually work, function and a little bit of uh, perseverance. So anyway, let's just jump straight into it. Uh, actually, no, one more thing before I get started. I'm going to mention I'll be using pattern as a... Uh, as a bypass method that might not make sense right now once we get to it you will you will know what i mean by then uh, but i'm mentioning this because once i set up a new pattern i'm gonna use the new pattern right now that i will use later on just so you can see that this pattern does not unlock the device right now so my new pattern will be like this so it's basically this kind of thing i can do it once more just by holding the device so it won't slide I'm pressing it hard so you can see that I'm dragging the phone with me, so it's not like I'm just hovering the, the finger above the display. Uh, so obviously, I can see that this pattern is incorrect. I'm showing that because this pattern will later on unlock the device. If everything goes according to plan, I know for a fact it will. So anyway, let's just get straight into it. So number one, uh, if you're at the very beginning of the setup uh, of your phone, just progress through it till you get to Wi-Fi connection page, like this one. Connect to your network, whatever that is. I have already connected to mine, as you can see right here, I am connected to my network. And once you have connected it, if it goes a step further, just back out into here. If you're still here, that's great. Uh, from here, you wanna select add new network. Uh, type in in the enter SSID, whatever you want. As you can see, I'm just gonna slam the keyboard and, uh, and that's what I got. It works fine. Now you want to select it, whatever you typed in, then select copy, and that's where the important part comes in. Once you copy it, as you can see, it gives you this little quick menu, or whatever you want to call it, with the share option, which just disappeared. So let's try that again. Copy. You want to select the share option, swipe up, and then select messages. New message. And the field 2, which is selected by default, just again, roll your face. Actually, no gonna select a number so roll your face on the numbers uh, there you go uh, I got whatever that is it's not even a real number it does not matter there is no sim card in here even so even if you select a real number this message will never reach anybody because like I said there is no uh, sim card in the phone so that will work for me select confirm it and then in the message you're gonna type in youtube.com Once more, we're sending it to no one. Send. Uh, as you can see, it says not sent, tap to try again. Uh, it does not matter. So once you send, send this link, it gives you this kind of new window. It doesn't really look like a message, as you can see. So tap right here, tap to load the preview. And then tap on the YouTube image. Now in this case, uh, on this device, it will actually matter uh, what do we type in? So we need to do this once more. As you can see, this one opened it up in like a pop-up view. That's not what we want. So we're going to type in www.youtube.com. There we go. Problem solved. Um, from here, just allow whatever pops up. So from here, you're going to navigate to the account. Select settings about and Google privacy policy. Accept and continue, no thanks, and no thanks. And in here right at the top, you want to navigate it to hard reset.info slash bypass. If you need a moment to copy it, just pause the video. From here, sc scroll down, sc 
scroll down and you'll get as a last option right here the screen lock set mini click on it this will take us to the well screen lock set mini and in here i'm going to be selecting pattern but you can also use pin or password whatever you want uh, right now whatever you choose it doesn't really matter uh, we're not actually selecting a password or protection to our device that we will be using for the long run we just want to select something that uh, that is easy to set up so that's why i'm selecting pattern because it's the quickest thing that i can uh, do and the, obviously the pattern that i'm going to be using is this one which i showed you before which didn't work uh, it's the quickest like swipe for me so that's what i'm going to be selecting we're going to be repeating this several times so that's why i'm saying that just pick whatever is easiest for you next repeat it and you'll get this uh settings has stopped uh so just click somewhere on the screen you get the white page doesn't matter go back and then select it again now chances are you might do this twice before you get this uh white page again at whatever point you get this it will not matter just do what I just showed you, which is go back from that point and go back to here. And we're gonna now keep on attempting to sele select the or set up the screen lock. As you can see, nothing is happening when it's when it's going back like this. It failed, which is expectable. So just keep on repeating it. Give me a sec. I need to uh, turn off something because. There we go. Hopefully that's off. Anyway. Again, nothing happened, so again. There we go. Once you get this page like this one, uh, you're good to go. So from here, select the SMN, got it, and that's it. Uh, now we have another white page. So from here, we're just gonna go back. And as you can see, we are now at the beginning of the setup. So from here, we're just gonna quickly go through it. Now, one thing that I'll mention is if you selected something else like a pin, as an example, and you had a previously pattern, this will change it. So if I chosen for myself a pin instead of the pattern like I did, it will swap from confer or verify pattern to verify pin instead but i just selected the same method so it didn't really change in how it looks like but anyway as you can see i'm gonna now let go and it's gonna accept the, the pattern from here gonna finish up the setup we'll need to use that pattern once more or in my case pattern There we go, so let's do it once more. And as you will see, we have now access to our home screen. Now, in theory, the device is unlocked, although I haven't ever actually tested it further to see if this is actually fully unlocked or not. Uh, but I do, uh, I, do, I do prefer to just make sure that it's unlocked and not really test it. So to do so, what you need to do is navigate to the settings as a last step, scroll all the way down to system, reset options, erase all data, erase all data, Confirm your PIN pattern password once more and then tap on this button once again. This will then perform a factory reset of your device and once it's finished you will be taken back to the setup of your phone. At that point you can set it up however you want, it will be fully unlocked so you don't need to do anything that we have done in this video because like I said it's fully un unlocked at that point so it will act as a brand new device. And just set it up however you want. Now, I'm not going to go over this on the video just because it, it's a factory reset. It basically shows you nothing after pressing this button. So it would kind of be useless. Uh, but like I said, it's the last thing that you wanted to do. And with this being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.